And this afternoon, the 22nd annual Austin Film Festival officially kicks off. Always such an exciting year where we get to see lots of great documentaries and films. And over the next week, hundreds of them will be making their debut here. Until 20 is one documentary. This is Geraldine Mariba. Good morning. Good morning, Jamila Paxima. Did I get that right? Yes, absolutely. Okay, ladies, Perfect. welcome, and thank you so thank much you. for being here. Just looking at the trailer for this documentary, I got teary-eyed. Mm. It's a very, very emotional subject that you're tackling. tackling. Tell me what it's about. It's much more about James Reagan's life than it is anything else. Mm. It's about the way he lived, and it's, it's about surviving, trying to survive childhood cancer. I mean, the odds of surviving childhood cancer today in America are, are pretty slim. 25% yeah. of all children who have childhood cancer don't survive. So our doc, our pur the purpose of our doc is to create awareness and really try to start a movement around helping these kids with cancer. Jamila, when you were talking to James yeah. about this, and this took some time, years, to get it all together. Exactly. What were you thinking talking to him, what were the lessons that he taught you that you maybe didn't know beforehand? So I think you will, anybody who meets James will tell you he's an old soul. This young man knows what it means to live every moment completely fully and then to give back whenever you have a chance. That's what we learned from him. He just found an opportunity, would have be keyed into um, the needs of anyone who sort of needed that extra boost, extra support. And so he became the kid at MD Anderson yes. who would just show up and do the right thing for the right kid just before surgery, right after surgery. When he was at his weakest, when he didn't have any strength physically, yet emotionally, right. he was the strongest in the room. This is a kid who, he's an athlete. And so this is a kid who was on the Rice golf team in Houston, Texas. He played, he competed while wearing a chemo fanny pack. Oh my goodness. I mean, right. He didn't let anything slow him down. He fell in love, you know, at the end stage <sighs> and, and loved like this was the most important thing in his life right now. And his philosophy was do one good thing every day. And he did one good thing. He did more than one good thing. Every, every single day. day. And every single day you were trying to get funding for this documentary. Exactly. How did you do it? Well, we, um, we had support from our Kickstarter fans, yeah. all 387 yeah. of them. Thank Woo! you. <laughs> Look at those numbers. <laughs> and, um, we, you know, James has a huge network of people who believe in him, and they also supported our film. Friends, family, we've been in the business. We used to both work for NBC out of New York. Oh my goodness. So um, it was just, you know, we called everybody. <laughs> Gotta and, help out. And, and they've helped us pull this film together. And it's going to debut the world premiere, right? It's the world premiere to, on Friday night. On Friday night. 5.30 here in Austin. Okay. Yes. And then we want to take it on the road. We want to bring it to cancer hospitals. We want to bring it to colleges across, across um, the country. Yeah. And we want to go to other film festivals. So that's our goal. Until 20 tomorrow over at the Paramount Theater. Friday. Friday. Oh, that is tomorrow. tomorrow. It is tomorrow. Oh, it's tomorrow. <laughs> it's a blur. <laughs> you and I were both thinking, is it tomorrow? It's Today's tomorrow Thursday. is Friday. Right. Yes, you're right. Tomorrow it is over at the Paramount Theater. Thank you both so much. Thank you. For your time. Oh, thank, thank you. you. And we appreciate it. Best of luck to you. Thank, thank you.